I've been watching. Have you watched them um, at Love Is Blind on Netflix? No, I've heard about it. It's about the bloke falling in love really quickly. It's so good. Is it? It's no, no, no. So it's right. So they got these pods, mm. and they've got these pods, and they've got like twenty blokes and twenty women, and they're both. They spend two weeks. They've got two weeks, and they spend the whole time talking to each other in different pods, and they can't see the woman. That's right. And they have to, or they, I don't know, or they want to. They have to propose. And basically, from then on, you've got thirty days. When they do meet up, they've got thirty days until their me- till their wedding day, and so they're then expected to. You know, they've got the wedding ready. They're engaged. They proposed and all that stuff. So they then have to meet each other. And the whole idea of it is if love is blind. Yes. And it's like is it's it? amazing. Is it? Well, this is the problem I've got. I love. Are you going to spoil this? No, no, no. I haven't got to the end yet. Right. I haven't got to the end yet, so I don't know how it works. But the spin. From American, I love Americans on TV so much yeah. because the way they're so they're sort of like positive spin on everything, absolutely incredible. So they've got these, there's like these two people. They obviously all go, oh my god, I'm, I'm far- I think I'm falling in love with you. I'm in love with you. I love you. They've never seen each other, right? Yeah. And then they meet each other, and you can. See- What's amazing is like right. the body language. Right. <laughs> yeah, they get well. They- obviously, they've conveniently put in only beautiful people right. for it. But they kind of, they meet in them. There is still that, like, you can see the body language of it. Do you know what? It's really clever, right? Because I know I know what you're talking about. Some bit on Gogglebox. I understand what it is, right? But the psychology of what the situation they're in forces them to become emotionally attached before they would otherwise. They, they know what the, the, the producers of the show know that if they put them in a pod and there's no other stimuli other than the person that's in front of them talking, and the only reason they're in this pod is to make a connection that they will willfully fall in love with someone they wouldn't otherwise do yeah that's what makes it so and they haven't got any like the the sort of 40 you don't know what the percentage is in terms of love of how good looking they are do you know what I mean in the first instance it has to be so important well it does but but it also I think we know that the other side of it is that it doesn't last forever unless you have the other side of it of course so it is two parts of it but this idea that love is blind it's amazing but then what the reason I'm bringing it up is because this sort of this sort of um, spin in terms of how they're talking about it afterwards and how nothing's wrong and they're oh yeah we're still totally in love it's like the bias that you show with your football team a little bit yeah like you kind of go well no or some some people do some people go oh this is they don't have it in them but other people will just like to the end Depends. like there's one bloke this girl doesn't fancy him like <laughs> she's going you know I love him the connection we have it's incredible I've never had something like this I've never been in this in love this much but physically I'm struggling right now <laughs> and he's like and he you know does and then she he goes to give her a kiss and she goes oh, no, no, it's horrible it's brilliant I'm never watching this but then there's the other guy there's others that it's like spin everything and they will not have a bad word said and so like one this is my favourite bit it's this guy called Kenny and there's a girl she's five foot two and he almost catches himself saying negative something ne- negative and he gets back out of it and he goes he, he has to bend down to kiss her because she's five foot two and he's six foot and she go, he goes um yeah, I have to bend down all the time. I'm gonna put my back out, which is which is awesome because <laughs> because you know it's a great reminder to always stretch yourself. <laughs> I was like, what? This is so American. This is unbelievable. They're all gonna end up fucking killing themselves. Um, but yeah, I think for Liverpool fans, it's so easy to do the party line until something gets in the way, like bad looks, bad performance, and so now they're all the, the sort of British way of football fans is not like the American way. They are, they're not going, oh, it's going to be fine. We're going to do everything. There's a few that just lose their way and you go, oh, we're crap all of a sudden. Yeah.